All right, what's going on guys? Tom here. So today we are checking out Avatar Belial, who launched alongside Vera in Grand Blue Fantasy Versus. So as with Vera, I did try him out a little bit to get a little bit of a feel for him. And this character is insane. So the way I would compare him is basically Devil Jin to Jin in Tekken. He's similar in a couple ways, but for the most part, he's his own character completely. So just like with Vera, let's check out his auto combos first. So pretty good range there. Totally fine. Also fine. And also fine. Of course, with an auto combo, you can just combo after it. How's the range on this? Sweep's pretty good. This is an interesting looking anti-air. It looks good, but the range doesn't look incredible. But it does look like it covers everywhere, including behind him. In fact, I need to test that. It does absolutely hit behind him. Hold on, let's see how well. Oh my god, that is actually potentially one of the best anti-airs in the game. That covers his entire, like, trajectory. That's... This, his down heavy, is really good. Is really good. Okay, so now that we check that out. Next is his unique, which is the Devil Jin Beam, which can also be used in the air if you do his, like, wing jump. I feel like this move is going to be pretty good just because it's really, really fast. But at the same time, like, if they're crouching, it's not going to do much. So it's not the best projectile. So I probably just walk forward, crouch, walk forward, crouch, you know? So it's not going to be as dominant as you might think as, like, a Superman Injustice Beam. But you still have this version for the Crouchers. So you can absolutely still do that. But all right, let's look at his actual moves now. I'm kind of just going to go through the command list because his moves are much more complex than Vera's. He's definitely a more complicated character, but not prohibitively so. I don't think he's too, too crazy, but his, he's definitely a little bit more complex than the average character. So first of all, his basic special, he throws these rocks, which in any other fighting game would hit low, but not this one. And then his heavy, uh, excuse me, his medium version throws these, which is actually uh, very beelzebub -y, I would say. These are pretty good. Uh, you, have, you better get good at spot dodging or you're going to get hit by these all the time. And then, of course, his heavy version, just more rocks, which I believe you can combo after these. No, I was wrong. You can't combo after them. It just looked like that. There is this move, which from the light does this, medium does oh. From the medium, it does this, and from the heavy, it does this. This move is actually a Rekka. If you hold back in any of the face buttons, he actually does the full motion. That's probably going to be your combo, because I don't see you really getting a combo after this, unless you do the heavy version. This definitely gives you enough time for a combo. I'll show you a very quick little combo with what we've already seen. And that's real simple, man. That is a real simple combo that's just super easy to do. And yeah. This guy can definitely zone with the best of them, boys. He can definitely zone. I don't want him to zone because that's just not fun style to me. But regardless, he can definitely be annoying if you're not good at spot dodging or avoiding projectiles in general. Because if, if you jump, if you jump this, and you one of these. So definitely, definitely get good at spot dodging. The third special is real simple. It's DP. Like every other DP you could really expect here. The light version is just this one kick. Heavy version does this. And the EX version does this, which actually gives it a finisher. It's kind of like Juries, actually. It's kind, of, it's kind of a lot like Juries. It's probably the best comparison I can give it. But of course, there's a Grand Blue Versus, so we, we do have a Down Down Special, which does this. Which puts him into this wing state, and from the wing state, he gets these three... He gets several moves. There's more than three, so he gets... Press light, this is what happens. He does the foot dive. Medium, he does the dive kick. And then the heavy version, he does this. They're reusing that animation from regular Belial. And then, of course, laser beam. So, how high you go depends entirely which version you use. But one thing I'm, no I'm now noticing. So, this move, it's it's an interesting tool. Because it gives you the ability to dodge projectile and punish pretty effectively. I don't know if this counts as a grab. I actually need to check that because I think it might. It does count as a grab. So, it's a built-in mix-up. Not to mention, if you just jump and press unique, you'd get a dive kick on your own. Uh, he is definitely, definitely not plus after this, but if you need to get in desperately, it's something you can do, that's for sure. So, yeah, that's his basic kit. Okay, let's check out what his aerials are. So, his basic square is this. Nothing too, too, too intense. This is not great as medium. Alright, so that's one flaw that I see. He doesn't really have a cross-up. So, yeah, he really doesn't have a cross-up. I'd say his best jump is probably his, uh, his circle. Heavy is probably his best jump in. But he does have one other mechanic. Oh, let me take off block. If any of your specials aside from the DP connect, you can just mash X and you get a follow-up. 
or you can mash up an X and get this, which I need to double check if it's an overhead or not. So hold on a second. It is not an overhead. It is definitely not an overhead. Uh, does it have the same properties as the Lyle's normal self though? Yep, he's definitely still plus after it. Okay. Remember, remember how annoying Belial's dive kick was, especially vanilla Belial? He still has it in this version, but he needs to connect with another attack first. But for example, if I do something like this, I, and I get a follow-up there, it's it's something you can do. You can follow it up with anything. So, so if I need just an easy combo, that's just easy. Just do the Rekka, and then just hit... Oh, you can cancel it after any bit, too. I don't see any real reason to do that, though. Other than just to look badass. I'm positive someone better than me will find a way to optimize this crazy. Or you might just be fishing for that knockdown to guarantee yourself a knockdown. I don't know. There's a lot of ways you can justify this yourself. But I kind of like it. He's pretty cool. Like, he's actually very, very cool. So, let's say, even if I do one of these. There we go. Or if you just need to get in. There is a range. After a certain point, he won't teleport. So if you're full screen, he won't teleport. I want to say this is around the distance he actually does it. We'll do it from him. Yeah. Like you, not full screen, but I'd say about 75% of the screen. Like right here. Yeah. Yeah, that's where he'll teleport from. So keep that in mind. You could just basically have a, an ultra instinct get in for free button. If you'd use it right. Not only do you get in for free though. Doing this version, you're plus guaranteed. So you don't get the same damage. But if they're blocking, you just got in for free. That is pretty nutty. This character, I don't I, I don't know if he's going to be as broken as Belial himself was, but I feel there's a chance, because he seems to have a lot of really good tools. He's got good zoning tools. He's got great zoning tools. He's got great getting in tools. He's got a good, like, rushdown toolkit in and of itself. Like, he's kind of got it all. Let's check out his supers now. So this is his basic super. His basic skybound. He pulls out the wings. He basically just dragon rushes her a bunch of times. And this also works in the air. I think the damage is the same either way. But having a basically a free punish in the air at all times is really good. Like, if you catch someone doing anything from the right distance, you just get this for free, dude. And let's see, does it lock on full screen? Someone needs to be punished. He does not. He does have a set distance, so it's around this far. Someone needs to be punished. And you get that punish for free on anything. And his regular Skybound? Excuse me, his Super Skybound art. Okay, so that's what it does when it doesn't get the full animation. It hits full screen. Another full screen. So this dude has two full screen supers. So don't be wrong. Wait, am I not invincible? I am invincible, okay. But if you get the animation... Let's get the animation. She's dead. Um, she's just I done. It's it's the Dormammu Super. It's 100% the Dormammu Super. And one thing I did not do in the Vera video was try and figure out the best combo I can do. There we go. Alright, this might be the easiest day one combo I can come up with. Simple corner combo. But, hey, it works. This time, for sure. There we go. Hope it's at least worth all the effort. Give me, give me the coolest outro in the game. Make it worth my time. Gets off the throne. There's a lovely bed waiting for you. Pretty cool. I don't know about it worth the effort to get it, but pretty cool. But alright guys, that is Belial in a nutshell. I do think that he's really, really good character. I don't think he's best in the game, but I think he has potential to be up there because he's really good at everything, but he doesn't seem like absolutely offensive in the way that like regular Belial was at first, if you know what I mean. But guys, let me know in the comments below, what do you think? Is Belial busted? Is he going to break the game? Are you going to use Vera or Belial from this pack? Or neither character? Let me know. Uh, if you enjoyed this video, leave a like on the video. It helps out a absolute ton. And if you're new to the channel, hit the subscribe button. It helps out immensely, and you won't miss any other fighting game news, among all the other stuff that I do. Thanks for watching, guys, and I will see you in the next one. Till then.